welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a different video. Amelia and I are going to do some baking for you. It is Anzac Day, so Amelia and I thought we would bake some Anzac slice. So Anzac Day, if you are not in Australia, Anzac Day is where we remember the soldiers that fought for us in the war. And Anzac biscuits are the traditional biscuits for that day that time they're a traditional Australian biscuit. Um, I like making it in slice form because I find it super easy and they're really nice and chewy. So I've got all my ingredients here and we'll get straight into it. Wow. So what we need is some flat plain flour. We need rolled seeds. oats. Oh, Would you say that? Seeds. No, they're not seeds. We need some brown sugar. Some shredded coconut, or I prefer to use the desiccated coconut. Uh, we need some butter. That's going in and Yeah. Yes. We need some golden syrup. We need some bicarb soda and some boiling water, and that's all you need to make these. What we need to do first, so we are preheating our oven currently at 160 degrees Celsius for fan force or 180 degrees Celsius for non-fan force. Um, this recipe here is actually from a Superfoods Idea magazine that I got years ago, um, and I really love it. So what we're going to do first, we're preheating that, we're going to combine the flour so we need to sift our flour first. I have my little broken oh, sift. Okay. okay, so we're going to get first one and a quarter of a cup of flour, plain flour. So I'm getting the purple. Yeah, you need the purple one. You want to scoop out the purple one? Careful, don't spill it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, I'll spill it. I don't want to spill it. Okay. Okay. Put that in the sifter. We need to take our oats, which is again one and a quarter a cup. So we do. I'm just gonna put the quarter cup in. So we need one cup of family packed brown sugar. These are not healthy. If you're here for healthy recipes, you're never going to get it on my channel. I love treats. I love treats. I do love treats. I know you do. <laughs> you gotta tap it. Tap it out. There you go. Oh, that looks like a little castle. It does look like a sand castle, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, and then one cup of shredded coconut or desiccated. No, pick one again. Go really mix it in, make sure it's well combined. Now what we need to do is we need to get our saucepan and get over to the stove. In our little saucepan we need to combine 150 grams of chopped butter, I have not chopped it yet. And then we need two tablespoons of golden syrup. Then you need to pop your saucepan with that stuff in it over low heat to melt together. So we're just going to stir this over low heat. Me too. 
Now we're just going to prepare our pan. I like to use this sort of size pan. You can use any sort of size pan. It actually says... Like circle. Yeah, it's a 19 centimetres by 29 centimetres. This is probably just a little bit smaller than that. Right, so we've just lined it with some baking paper. And while that is melting together, we just need to combine our bicarb soda. So we are going to take half a teaspoon and put it in the bowl. And then you need to take four scoops of two tablespoons of boiling water. Careful of that. Pouring it in. Mm -hmm. One, two, two. Now you need to, once that has combined, so it should be all nice and smooth. Um, we're just going to take that bicarb and water combo and pour it in. And that makes it froth up a bit. So now we are going to make a little well in the center of our mixture in here. Oh. Just a little hole. And then we're just going to pour this mixture right in there. So it looks nice and good. Looks nice and good, hey? Okay. We are going to mix it. Mix, mixing. We're going to be very careful because that mixture's hot. Yes. So I'm going to get started and then you can do some, okay? okay. So it doesn't burn myself. Because mm -hmm. I remember one time I burned myself. And it'll look yellow somewhere, but yeah, that's what it is. Well, circle, but now it's not yellow. The one time I used to change it off, yeah. let's do this so I can get all the colour. I'm going to pop the mixture into here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pour it into the pan. Now we need to press it into the pan. And now it's all We're going to get it all nice and flat in there. Yep. Get all those spaces. Mm -hmm. So guys, you can see that we have foil ones and spoon ones. But mom never used the, the foil one. Because I want to keep these ones nice and safe. But if you want to store these in a shop, you can maybe buy them. And you can maybe read them or use them. So now that we have that all pressed into the pan nicely, we're going to pop that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So I like mine more on the chewy side, so we're going to go more of the 25 minutes. Okay, and we will be back in 25 minutes. All right, we are back. It has finished baking. We have let it cool a bit. When you get it out, we um, only baked it for about 20 minutes, not 25 minutes, like I said. When you get it out, it will still feel a bit soft. You need to let it cool in the pan before slicing it. Okay, there's a piece for Amelia. And they are absolutely delicious, warm, cold. However, I also do like to warm them up and then top them with ice cream. That is also super okay. delicious. Are they delicious? Yeah. So that is my favorite recipe for Anzac Slice. Um, you can also roll it into balls or make it into the biscuit form. I just find it super easy to make it into the slice. A lot simpler. So 
Thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed baking with us and we will see you next time.